Hello everyone, Zips here. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to use AutoTune or any other VST plugins on Discord. Let's get right into it. So for this, you're gonna need three things. First of all, the Clownfish Voice Changer. I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there already have it. If you do, make sure you're using version 1.65 or higher. If you don't, check out the link in the description or the pinned comment. You'll also need the GSnap VST plugin. This tutorial will work with pretty much any DLO plugin. Once again, I will leave a link to the download in the description. Make sure you have either WinRAR or 7-zip because you'll need to unzip certain files. And last but not least, you'll obviously need a microphone. First thing you'll have to do is install Clownfish. Just double click the installer, follow the setup steps. Once Clownfish is installed, you'll need to inject it to your mic. So for that, start up Clownfish. Right click on the tray notification, select system integrations, and install it to the microphone you're using. Wait for the Windows audio system to restart, and from there you're good to go. Next, download GSnap or Modopitch. VST plugins, I'd recommend you use a model pitch because it's better, but then again, GSnap is easier to use. Unzip it and save it to wherever you want. Then copy the DLL file and head to program files 86, clownfish voice changer and paste it in the VST folder. Then just restart clownfish, click on set voice changer and check the apply effects to music and sound box. Go to VST effects and select either GSnap or a model pitch whichever one you've installed. Click on config and select the key in which you want to sing, or just leave it as is if you just want the jumping pitch effects. Set the amount to 100% and the speed to 20. Let's give it a shot. So as you can see it does work, if you found this tutorial useful, consider leaving a like and I will see you on the next one. Bubba. 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 Bubba.